Let's see if she can get that king down. Oh, I just made the king invisible. Queen! Queen, no! Nah, the king! <laughs> He's staying invisible! Wow, that's frustrating. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Guys, we got exciting news for you today. It is sneak peek number one of the winter update. And as you can see behind me, we have a new level of our spell factory. This is exciting, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, be back for more because we have all kinds of sneak peeks going on all week long. So let's dive right into it with our first new part of the update, and that is the new invisibility spell. Guys, let's actually uh, close that window out of the way. We can just look at it right inside of the dev build of the game here. Remember, the numbers are subject to change as this is not the live build, and it might change before the update. So let's go ahead and upgrade. This spell factory, we'll just go ahead and gem it. It is a seven day upgrade. And then we can brew the new invisibility spell. So at max level, it's going to give you four and a half seconds of invisibility, but it gets tricky because the invisibility not only affects your troops, but it also affects the defenses on the base. It affects everything except for siege machines and walls. It doesn't work as a jump spell. You can't just uh, make the walls invisible and jump on over them. It doesn't work that way. This is available at Town Hall 11. The new level of the spell factory doesn't actually, it doesn't add any uh, spell slots there, just adds the new spell. It is one housing space. And as you see, every level uh, goes up a little bit in time. Level two is available at Town 11, level three at Town 12, and of course, level four at Town Hall 13. And moving down the list there, new buildings, new defenses, and new Royal Champion levels, guys. This is big. And we got some quality life updates to toss in here at the end, so stick around for those as well. New Expo levels for Town Hall 13. That is a 17-day upgrade time. 17 million gold, but it's gonna bump up that damage, bump up that HP, and that's kind of significant because the HP boost makes so that you actually are going to end up needing an extra lightning to take down expos. It's going to change it from five in a quake up to six in a quake. So that's going to change the way that we attack the bases when we use lightning. And there's some other lightning nerfs that are coming as well. Lightning's taking a little bit of nerf here in this update. Not to the lower town levels, mostly for Town Hall 13. All right, we have a giant bomb level being added. 7 million gold, 9 day upgrade time, a little bit extra damage, nothing crazy there. Air bombs coming up next, and this one, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Air bombs getting more damage? Did they need more damage? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. This is the big one, guys. Royal Champion levels, and by the way, we just got our new Royal Champion skin in the gold pass this month. If you're picking it up there, then, uh, Consider using code ERIC to help support the channel. It goes a long way, but guys, we're gonna have five new Royal Champion levels and they're expensive. They're eight days a pop and it's gonna boost her damage. And then once she gets that level 25, she gets her ability upgraded. It'll now do 1960. I gotta actually look at the HP of a handful of the structures, but I think that should actually make it enough to take out a cannon. Let me check that. How much does a cannon have? Got just just shy just shy it doesn't take out a cannon i wonder what that'll set over what what uh wasn't being taken out from it before that is now i don't know think about that think about that think of how strong the extra seeking shield is going to be and of course a little bit extra health a little extra damage is going to make her a little bit stronger so now how long does it take you to upgrade five levels of the rc when you have all those magic items stocked up it's going to take me like an hour <laughs> all right wars for the quality of life updates we got all kinds of good stuff here guys when creating a friendly war you now have the option to make it one attack or two attacks per player you see in so many esports tournaments that everybody only allows one attack per player so everybody has a uh, an extra attack that's just sitting there that could be used and some people accidentally use it and get their team disqualified from that uh, tournament war and uh, we want to make sure that doesn't happen and now we can actually set the war to only allow one attack per player so I really like that we have a little bit of a change to the scatter shot 
the HP has been increased. Level 1 is going up to 3600. Level 2 to 4200. That is going to change the number of lightnings you need to take them down. This is going to be a massive nerf to zap mass witches. If you've been using it, get ready to put it away. Get ready to put it away because scatter shots are getting buffed with their HP. And it's a pretty significant amount of HP there as well. Also, the scatter shots hit speed has been uh, increased just a little bit there and the DPS has been or the DPS has been reduced a little bit so its damage is down its HP is up and its hit speed is raised just a little bit so it swings us a little bit faster I wonder how it's gonna impact it I guess we'll find out all right gameplay this one's big this one is big light you probably saw this in the thumbnail I'm probably gonna put this in the thumbnail Lightning spells will no longer have any effect on the clan castle. It's going to be treated like a storage. So just like elixir and gold storages, lightning spells will no longer cause damage to the clan castle. That means we're going to have to get used to fighting clan castle troops again. It's, it feels like it's been a while. It feels like it's been a while. I feel like so many attacks right now have been focused around zapping out that clan castle and then doing an attack that supports it. So... We just talked about the Lalo a second ago with the air bombs and the most common attack that we zapped out the clan castle for was Lalo attacks and hog attacks and both of those are going to take the biggest hit to this change here. So this is huge news right here guys cannot stress that enough there that's going to change the entire landscape of every different town hall level not just town hall 13 at the end of the battle if you didn't use your hero ability. It's now going to give you the health as though you did use it to make so you can go back out into battle sooner and get those heroes back to full health. So just a little quality life change there. Nothing of significance. All right. When editing your base, you can now swap walls with other walls. That's interesting. Uh, cannon carts will now uh, retarget after being pushed back. If they're not in range of the original target anymore, they won't try to go back to the target they were locked on to. But units in general will have a more accurate line of sight calculation to help with pathing anything that's gonna help with pathing is gonna be great i really hope that doesn't uh backfire on us and have some uh, unintended consequences that we don't foresee and bugs <laughs> i sure hope not i sure hope not but anytime they mess with the ai of the troops then sometimes we see some weird things so keep an eye out for that and uh, if you see something record it tag me on twitter throw it up there and we will make sure we get it taken care of all right ui changes these are just a couple little things for quality of life. New cosmetics tabs have been added. So you can see when you have hero skins that you can buy for gems, they become available in that little tab there, just so you can have them all in one spot. Nothing crazy there. Your rewards for your uh, season pass is going to have a quick tab button to just uh, click through them a little bit faster, just so you can scroll around and find unclaimed rewards on your season pass there, so you don't miss out on them at the end of the season and realize you had something you forgot about. And when an optional update becomes available, they're going to actually uh, give you a message in game now instead of just a message on social media, so, so everybody actually knows about it, so you can go and download those optional updates for small fixes. Season challenges! You can now opt to receive five gems instead of a resource reward from your gold pass. So if you like don't play builder base, so you already have your builder base completely maxed out. Instead of receiving those rewards, you can grab some gems instead so they don't just go to waste completely. The requirements for some of the builder base tasks in the clan games and the season challenges have been reduced in order to bring them in more in line with the main village tasks. So I hope that means no more like 30 clock tower kills on the season pass so i can actually finish it without gemming my season pass half the month all right so i'm a little bit lazy with farming then ah that happens that happens all right and last but not least supercell id young players will now be able to create a supercell id for their account by providing an email address of a trusted adult or guardian so kind of cool there and then it says lastly we'll see you tomorrow tomorrow for a very special logmas message that sounds fun. That sounds fun. But guys, let's go play around with this uh, new invisibility spell, yeah? Uh, look who we found. It's Galadon, and he has a, a weird base set here on the dev build. You can't do this in the normal build, but we're going to go and attack Galadon's base here. And what we're going to do is just drop in my queen, and we're going to make her invisible. And then she 
all by herself is gonna be able to fight all of these expos we'll make her visible again so she can't be shot and there we go we take down those defenses and that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome um she'll uh, be able to take those out we could actually do a we could do a full queen walk feasibly with just like keeping her invisible for a long time i wonder if that'd be a, a real thing that we could actually pull off let's uh make her invisible again like this travel time is really what gets us right look at that look at that can she get down before it wears off i like it i like it let's go over to get this town hall down right remember if i if i cast watch this watch this if i put the lightning onto the building to stop attacking it and run on by ah no all right um let's put her in it but not the building there we go now we can get it down right that's kind of fun that's kind of fun i wonder if i wonder how that's gonna affect the game oh i actually got a oh now she has nothing to attack what's she gonna do what's she, what do you do queen there's nothing there's nothing left on the base here i made the last building invisible that was sucked a time fail if you did that right let's go attack this base with just my heroes and a whole bunch of invisibility spells in fact we'll go with just my queen and see how far we can push her without any help like we're gonna do like a queen charge except for no healers that means 70 less troop space and we're just gonna see how far she can go into the base here i want to see if she can go in here and take out all these expos so we'll go one two three or five take out all those uh collectors there that'll form a funnel and then we'll go in with a uh, super ball break and then put my queen and we will make her invisible okay so you do got to be careful here you got to make sure that uh anytime she's not invisible she's taking damage so let's see if she can get that king down oh i just made the king invisible we've got to be careful about that right oh but he's gonna step out <laughs> no no ah, no no queen queen no no nah, the king <laughs> he's staying invisible wow that's frustrating. <laughs> I can't get him down. I can't get him down. He's invisible. All right. I guess we're just going to walk past him. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny right there. That's pretty funny. All right. Um, it's a little that's tough to use. That's going to take some practice, guys. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways we can use it. We're going to have to get creative here. But uh, definitely get ready here. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Be back tomorrow because we're going to have more sneak peeks coming all week long here. So subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.